And we're live on the internets, everybody. Woo! We are back after a month. Well, a little bit more than a month. Uh, mostly because uh, my lovely wife has a uh, has someone in a sidecar next to her right now. Uh, more like in an arm. <laughs> you having to hold her? I'll probably put her down in a minute. So, uh, for anybody listening, if y'all hear noises, uh, you might be hearing baby. Yep. Bebe. Yep. Baby. The baby. And baby makes lots of noises. A lot of it gas. She is your daughter. This is true. So, how's everybody doing? I am a meat popsicle. I exist. That is a thing. I'm tired. I'm sore. From boxing? Yeah. But it's like a good sore, right? Yes, and actually, I didn't wear it today, but I did get my shirt that says it's the Kogo Yes with her doing the fist wrapping. <laughs> I do actually have that as a shirt now. Yes. Yay. I need to see it. I'll have to I, take a picture. I have a I have a new shirt that I got from Timu that has a cat with a cowboy hat on it that says Meowdy. Nice. Cute got me a shirt to wear as a night shirt and it has a little ghost on it looking angry and it says this is boo sheet. <laughs> That's cute. So, uh, it's it's been a minute, so as a reminder, y'all had, uh, you had found a forge uh, that Tarl now has a way to access again. Uh, you explored Mulak's pouch that was uh, the lab of a gnome, where two of your party members are still uh, resting or doing science and shit. And it took us three weeks to get out of it, apparently. And you have stopped at Finn Deep, found some reserves of food, paid respects to a grave, and as y'all were turning around, there is a large male orc with an eye patch holding a battle axe that seems to be an avatar of the god Grimush. <laughs> I believe the, the last thing is Tarl was just pointing over at Arvax. <laughs> And so that's where we pick up this large uh, black robed orc staring at y'all as you are outside of the mausoleum. Uh, can everybody see the map? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, fuck me. Uh, I think I think somebody's here. I think uh, I think he's here to see you, Arvax. Mm-hmm. As he as this individual walks closer, uh, y'all are starting to realize he's most of a Baragrin tall. That's uh, that 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 that's a big dude. Uh, you are, mm -hmm. sir. You are sizable. Uh, give me a wisdom save as his eye looks over at you, Mularn. A wisdom save? A wisdom save. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. That was just a check. Yeah. yeah. A... Okay, you yeah. save, but you might, be, uh, you might be turtling a little bit just from the glare. Like just a little bit of a ballpoint. Happening. Yeah, it's just, it's, uh, you are, you are a sizable individual, and he looks at me and go, and I, and I go, right, 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 and just, and just start backing up. <laughs> nope, you're, nope, you're right, you're right, good, good point. He comes to a stop and just holds the battle axe in both hands. 
Uh, it is not a good grip. It is not a, it's not a, I'm just holding this so it's not in the mud grip. It is, uh, it very much gives you the same vibes of when someone reverse grips a glass bottle. <laughs> Peregrine's gonna do the same with her mall. And kind of like shrug her shoulders and like tilt her head back and forth, like cracking her neck. And just Send stare down. down. Stone of Sending. Arvax, you need to go talk to your man. Yep, 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 yep. I'm going to uh, step past Perry and walk closer to him. Does he say anything as I walk up? As you start walking, you feel the weight of his glare on you. You feel the paladin mantle that aura that is with you shift. Oh, oh as, as I, if, I don't like that! As if it's trying to get out of his way. Um, I'm not going to go any closer. Turtle, that turtle, turtle, weird? turtle, 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 turtle. <laughs> I had had something I was going to say, and now I definitely don't remember it. Was it along the lines of, yo, homie, we got beef? Yo, homie, we got beef. No, 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 <laughs> you shut the fuck up. The twins you shut the fuck up. The twins both cause everybody to roll initiative. I know no. that I know no I know they didn't actually say that, but I could see like big intense moment. Mulak, yo homie, we got beef. <laughs> we got we got problem? We got problems? Cause uh we can have problems if you need to have problems. You know, uh, you don't problems. You still in your shell. You ain't got no room to talk. Nah, you, you are uh, Oh, no, I'm saying that on the inside. This is the conversation Mulak's having 15 minutes after this whole thing's over. <laughs> like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, uh, everybody other than Arvax, give me a perception check. You said perception? Yep. Perry, oh, damn, Perry. Pe that's because Perry notices God's face every time she opens her eyes and looks slightly to the left. Like, <laughs> uh, per a peregrine is uh, a peregrine sees what Claire needs to do to relax her muscles after her workout today. Yeah, pretty much. Like, honestly, peregrine, like with with the plus ten to perception, I feel like peregrine's one of those. I see everything. But I don't necessarily understand it. Okay, so all of y'all definitely passed. Y'all can see that from the ostuary tree, things are starting to move. I don't like that. And who all speaks orcish? I know Dreyfus does. I don't know if anybody else in the party does. Uh, is Perry? No, I actually thought that I did, but I guess I don't. No, I, nope. thought, I thought, Claire, I thought that you did because you said you gave up the ability to write and read. Yeah, but I've got common, druidic, giant, and primordial. Does Harvax not speak it? I mean, well, I, I do. I'm just saying with the rest of the party... <laughs> Yep. I could have sworn I had it though, because I lived with orcs for like probably yeah, six I, years. I, I think that we, I think that we had said that you, because you gave up the ability to read and write any language, that you knew how to speak orcish. Okay, do I need to substitute it for one of the others that no, I know? No, 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 no. You're, you're okay. giving, you're giving up like a solid chunk of stuff. I thought we had that on your character sheet, but roll twenty hashtag not sponsored has updated and done weird shit since then. 
Yeah, I know there was a rollback once for something, so it may have happened during that. <clears throat> anyway, okay, Peregrine does. <clears throat> Peregrine does, Arvex does. I know Dreyfus does because he wrote that poem when y'all made him drink that stupid potion. And then people has the magics. All right, so what everybody uh, that doesn't understand Orcish hears, and I apologize uh, for anybody on the internet that actually speaks this language, uh, but Male Karlak Zuku, Muzak Machnark, Sloja Prasi. Arvax and uh, Peregrine, and you did actually cast Comprehend Languages, right? Yeah, buddy. You hear, Little Bunny, you need to do your job. why I'm here. Why we're going where we're going. And I, I'm speaking back in Orkish. Then what everyone hears is Mistress Irizzi. The folks that speak Orkish, you hear the master walks. Master walks. What does that mean to me? Who does he look like? He looks like Grimush. So who do you think his master is? Grimush. What, is, what does that mean? That, oh. What, what does that mean? Mulak. That's his master. Okay, I'm not going to keep reading Polish over here, but suffice to say, everybody else here is a very guttural series of things that says his eye is on the river. Armies river. form. Everybody else that are notice that Arvax seems to almost be like tunnel visioning on this dude. But y'all notice about what ten what used to be orcs have marched out of the ostuary tree holding random weapons. And seem to be making a formation off to the side. Uh, there there's an army on the river? I do you mean the holy wind? He looks to you. I do not need to repeat myself. What more can I do to do my job? Bring change. That is what I'm trying to do. He just looks to either side. This all is the same. Change sometimes takes more time than we'd like. Bigger action, which I have been able to complete yet. You need to move before others do it for you. I've been sent to task you with something, but I find you lacking. I can take on any task. Give me a dex save real quick. Oh, great. Without your paladin aura. Fuck! Oh, fuck my life. Well, good to be back, everybody. I'm gonna die.
Boop, boop, boop. I don't. I have an old school character sheet for this guy because it was not in the computer. What is your AC, Arvax? One hundred one. Okay, so that misses, but I need you to give me a strength save as you hold your shield up to block this great axe, and you start to feel your feet give out from under you. Okay. Nat 20. Nat 20. You are not knocked prone, but you are sent back five feet. As you realize what he has done is swing the flat side of his axe at you. And I would like everybody to roll initiatives. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Where's. Oh, God. Okay. Forgot where I was. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so. Why are my rolls so garbage? Um, because I think roll 20 secretly hates paladins, because it did this to me the last time I played one, too. I think it just hates me. Like, a lot. Well, you got baby, so you win. That is true. Roll 20 does not have baby. Oh, shit. Baby doesn't transfer over to Arvax rolls, though, unfortunately. Just let Vincent well, do the rolls. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably uh, get all nat 20s. Okay, so at the top of the order, we have the Avatar who is going to step forward. Uh, Peregrine, as she got knocked back, did you step kind of to try to get beside or kind of in front of her? Yes, yeah, she would have stepped in front. That's kind of what I was trying to position her as. Okay. Let's see. First attack. 24 parry. Yep. Okay. Now you are not raging, and this is also a... Uh, this would be considered magical. Yeah. I didn't get the chance to rage it. <laughs> oh, wait. That is a one. He gets to re-roll that. So that is 12, 18 slashing and five bleeding. Okay. Uh, for bleeding damage, you'll take half of that again at the start of your turn. Okay. All right, second attack, because you are definitely still standing. And, like, Perry, this guy comes up to just above your nose. So, for an orc, he is of unusual size. Gotcha. That is a dirty 20. Yeah, that just hits. That is 26 slashing. And God another damn. And another five bleeding. Okay. And third attack. Eight, Jesus. Eight, no. 18 will miss, but give me a strength save, which I'm sure you're fine on, but. Does, uh, does Arvax's thing kick in again, or is it still nullified? Uh, yeah, it's nullified at, at the moment. Oh, well. Yeah, you, uh, you do not get knocked So prone, ignore but... the plus three, sorry. I just, I right. like to check. But you are knocked back five feet, but you're not prone. Like, you, you see him swing, and you get your axe up to block, and he just, he smacks you, and you just slide back, kind of like the two lines in the mud of your feet. Gotcha. And then for his last attack. Uh, 
he is going to miss Arvax, so give me another strength save, Arvax. Yeah, you're just knocked back five feet. God damn. Both of you, since you're right there in front of him, he's wielding this massively heavy weapon like it weighs nothing. Uh, okay, Mulak. <sighs> Perry, how, how are you looking? Uh, Perry's fine. I mean, like, it, it hurt, but it's not going to happen again, so it's fine. Is this Greg? That is Greg. Greg is holding the bag. <laughs> These are all his homeboys. Those are all the those are all the skellies. Okay. Well, I've never done it yet, so ten. Uh, how tall is this tree? Uh. Like twenty something feet, like normal tree height. Okay. So, but it's not just a stump; it's an actual. No, tree. no, it's it's an actual tree. But none. I'm gonna say none of these trees are really big around enough to really mess with your line of sight. So if I hide behind it, they'll still see me. Uh, maybe. I mean, you're you're probably not wider than that tree, though. You're a slim boy, right? Yes. I, I just didn't do lighting on this because it's. Is a very small map. I'll uh, I'm I'm gonna target the uh, Mr. Man here. Mm -hmm. I would like him to make a uh a dexterity saving throw. Okay, what spell are you casting? Disintegrate. Okay, disintegrate. You fire it at him, and you watch the spell fizzle in midair before him. What? You fire it. It looks like it's going to hit him, and you watch as it just ceases to exist as it gets closer to him. Hmm. Okay. That's it. Okay. You can give me an Arcana check real quick, though, Malak. <laughs> that, okay. Oh, that's better than nothing. Uh, that was weird. That that should not have happened. Like, this this should have been a haha -ha, fuck you. And it didn't. Alright, so you're moving behind the tree. Are you still on your broom at this point? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll go hide. I'll go up as well. And kind of hide in the... Whatever. Can canopy? Whatever that is. Leaves. Okay, they move there. I'm just clicking this to see if it works. Okay. Okay, these two just grab Greg. And 
let's see. Yeah, they have about five foot left. They start taking him back towards the tree. Let's see. This one has advantage on parry. A 28 parry. <laughs> 28, yes. That is 13 bludgeoning as one of them just punches you right in the side. Magical? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. This one is not at advantage because it is not fully flanking. And that's an 18, which is going to be a... Miss. Miss. But give me a, another strength check, which again, I'm assuming this is not going to be an issue for our big buff barbarian. <laughs> Oh, well. Twelve. Uh, yeah. You are knocked back five feet and are prone. Cool. You got the bad back icon. Good. Let's see. This one at Arvax. There's a 27. Yeah. That is 13 slashing as it hits you with a uh, a rusty sword. I'm having to bitch the fuck out with the hell. Is she being calm for you right now? Right now, yeah, but my map just glitched out. Uh oh. Like it's flight. What the heck happened? I need to redo it real quick now. Well, maybe not. <laughs> okay. And this one is going to chunk a javelin at the one that is no longer, or not a peregrine because she's down its line of sight now just kind of sees Mularn. So that's a 19 Mularn. Uh, actually, then actually, uh, are you shielding or is... yeah, no, yeah, no, that 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 is over shield. Okay, so I'm gonna eat it. Oh, well. Uh, that is nine piercing. Let's see, at Tarl, yeah. another javelin being chunked. Fifteen is gonna miss Tarl. It 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 glints off your shield, Tarl. Let's see. That is that. That's everybody. Mularn. Mm -hmm. Enter. Click. Minus nine. Hang on. Perry. Yeah. yeah. You good? Yep. Would you be good if I made it hot? Probably. Yeah. Okay. She just gives like a feeble thumbs up. Uh, that doesn't make that doesn't actually make this make me feel better about doing this. She does that feeble like hand wave, like nah. <laughs> I got good. this. We're fine. <laughs> ah, fine. We're fine. We're all good here. Fireball, and it's gonna catch uh, everything between Greg and Dreyfus. And Arvax and this tree. So, Perry. So these three guys, these three guys, and this guy. Okay, what level are you casting it at? At level three. Okay. So, let me do them uh, deck saves. Do, 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 do. I did write it down. Good. 
that is a 21 for uh, Big and McBiggie? Uh, he he is legitimately not the target. <laughs> he said it was deck save, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's the one that I don't have a proficiency in, and I'm pretty but sure I'm at a... Don't you have danger sense? I'm pretty sure I have a disadvantage because I'm prone, am I not? I think it's a straight roll because you have advantage on deck saves with danger sense, don't That's you? That's true. I can see it. And I'm aware of it, like so you, you, it'll you, just be a straight roll. You hear him say that, and you look up as the tree gets hit. Nope. That's only a 13. So, uh, half damage to everybody, but parry. It's fine. <laughs> a big lady go burr would be nice next time, though. Well, I was trying to. Oh, my bad. Uh, I was trying to. What, what, what is the dam? Oh, it's 30. 30 on your fire. Yes, 30. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I was trying to. Th I was trying to thin up. I was hoping I could go before them so that I could just bomb them all. And then I let you, get it. It's cool. You, uh, yeah. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Actually, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 25. Nah, we'll go here. See, that is your blessing of the Raven Queen? No. I have 35 foot of me because okay. my transmutation stone is currently at movement speed. Okay, so you, you booked it by moving. Yeah, I'm going to drop down here in the corner. Okay. At the end of your turn, I need you to give me a constitution save. What is your HP, max HP? 122. You take 121 damage as you reduce to one damage as he just stares at you. Oh, 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 okay. How do you uh, have more life than I do? I'm down. No, no, you, you, I'm sorry. You have one HP left is how I should put it. I thought you were at full yeah, HP. You, you should, you should, you should have put it that I way. I should have rephrased uh, it that I, way. Sorry, I was asking a question that you normally would ask Patrick Rothfuss. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you feel just the blood drain from your face, Mularn? And you hear in the back of your skull in Orcish, this is not your fight, little shadow. I will, re I, and I will retort, the skeletons really hammer that home. Um, hang on, I got, I got to, I got to, I got to see if he's aggravated enough to do that to say this yeah yeah he is cowards use the dead as their shields that is a really good line i like that that's not what he says that is hewitt <laughs> yeah I, absolutely and in in that i am going to I, I am I am going to send the abs uh, as 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 a feeling the absolute hypocrisy of him telling me that it is not my business defending my family and then summoning a bunch of skeletons and currently attempting to carry one away. Arvex, I'm, I'm, I'm. He, yeah, yeah. He, he kind of does. I'm not gonna lie. That was, uh, oh. that was a really good line, though, Knox. That, that was. It really was. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself on that one. Oh, 
Hang on. If shift, baby. She doesn't want to lay back in the bassinet. No, she's in the bassinet. She's just face first. And we, we're grunting and wiggling. She likes to put her face directly into the mesh netting of the side of whatever bassinet we put her in. Harley did the same shit. Like, we will put her down in the middle, and she will roll her way to the side and shove her face in it. She, she side scooches all the way over. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna... Bonus action. My Fury of Gods. I don't know if it's actually going to help me at all. Probably not, but we're going to try. And then... Oh, I can't do Charger. I can't do Charger because I don't bonus action. Okay, I'm just going to go this way. And here... Skirt up. That thing will not get an opportunity because I have to move away from it. Fuck. Yeah, that's that's not gonna do it. Uh, 22 will. Uh, is going to be affected by any extra damage? Seems like it. So I mean, he, he, you, you slashed him and he took some radiant damage as well. Oh. Smite! Okay. You may smite. Get up one smite. I don't remember any of my shit. As one D. 2D8, right? Mm hmm. There is a yeah, solid. That's... There is a solid connect. Uh, actually, no. I'm told. You know, totaling up all the damage. So yeah, that goes through. This is a challenge for me. It doesn't involve them. Then they need to back down. Have hold of one of my party members. You remove the weak from the battlefield. It is not a child's place to fight. Everyone needs to back the fuck up! And that's my turn, because I only have two attacks. Perry. Wait, so was the backup aimed at us? Yep. Really? Yes. We're just gonna let him take Greg? They're moving him out of the way. Alright, well, I guess I pass my t I stand up, but I guess I pass my turn. You're just going to... I would bonus... I mean, if I bonus action rage, I'm not gonna... It's not gonna take. Well, if you bonus... Well, remember to take your bleed damage, which is five at this point. I believe, correct? Because you took two fives? Yeah. Okay. Um...
I feel like I have a potion, but I can't remember what level potion I would have. I think y'all have moderate, the, the mid-level. So that should be the 4d4 plus 4. Should we kind of pop one of those? Where did y'all buy those? Cod? Oh. This one has a raspberry flavor, then. Not the best, but she'll take it, and she's gonna rage anyway. <laughs> and just, like, slam the mall, like, into the ground, right in front of her. You're not gonna go after the skelly that tried to hit you? <laughs> I'm not allowed to, apparently! You could do what you want. I don't care. Do what you're gonna do. Yeah, she's gonna slam it into the ground and get all mad. The end. Okay, uh, Perry, as you... Your rage is there? Ooh, I have a question. Yes. Can she hold an attack for the next time Arvax attacks? Totally. Okay, which really doesn't matter, but at least I won't completely lose a turn, because her turn's right before mine, but at least something will happen. Cool. So you are going to ready an attack for when Arvax attacks? Yes. Okay, thank you. That's all. All right, Tarl. Well, the order kind of screwed up what I was going to do, so I will, uh, this is directed toward Perry. Oh, shit. Cool. Thank you. Holy shit. We're getting into six. Holy fuck. We're getting into six, wow. six and seventh level spells now. Heck yep. yeah. Yep. Heck yeah. Yeah, you just canceled my six level spell. Yep. Good lord, thank you. Perry's back to <laughs> Perry's back to normal. Still not quite full health, but pretty much. All right. I, was gonna fire, I was gonna fireball all the assets. <laughs> and I'm moving. All right. Dreyfus is going to hold an action at the end of the round. Greg is just kind of being toted. Guys. Guys. It doesn't hurt, but guys, I need an adult. Okay. Perry is just going to gesture at Arvax like, will you answer him? They're moving you off the battlefield. You're kind of considered a kid to them. I'm kids not, don't fight. I'm not going to correct that misconception. All right, back to the top of the round. Do. Where'd it go? There we go. 28 Arvex. Uh, yeah. I see. I'm just going to roll the second swing. 12 is a miss. No. Okay, so let me roll uh, a damage and then you give me a strength save. So that's 18. That is 18 magical slashies. And six bleedies. That will be three at the start of your next turn. That was all just magic, so uh, my theory of the gut doesn't matter. Meh. Give me that uh, strength. Oh, shit. Uh, you're knocked back five feet. He is going to step forward. Whoop. 
And that is another miss. So give me another strength save. Why don't I use strength save if he misses? Because as his blow hits, there is force behind them. Ah! Five foot back, and you are prone. There's the bad back. Steps forward. With advantage at 26, because you're prone. As he stomps you in the dead center of your back. And you can feel your armor dent. So that is 11 bludgeoning. And you are now considered restrained as his foot is on you. Oh, great. Mulak. Uh, I was told to fuck off, right? You're, yeah, she said to stand back, and you're watching this guy just slapped Arvax back with an axe and stomped her in the dirt. Um. But after he said back up, other people have done stuff, right? Uh, Tarl healed Perry. Perry is very angry and looks like she is holding... Holding herself back at the oh, moment. Oh, he'll, he'll parry, not yeah. uh Yeah, he'll parry. Okay. Um. I don't know. I... Can I help you at all? I only need to stand down. Right, but it's not what I... Um... He can heal you, though, right? Like, yeah, essentially, can I do something like that? Uh, well, fuck it. There you go. And then I'll sit down on the ground. Okay. Third level. Where's the boot? Where's the boot? Ah. What are you doing? I I'm trying to find the boot icon. There we go. You're hasted. You're prone and hasted. Oh, I wish they came with strength safe up there on the other deck. All right. Uh, they're going to drag him this way. And it looks like the dead are just trying to walk out to make a perimeter. But none of them attack. Uh, Mularn, it is your go. I will. Uh... <laughs> Gibber. <laughs> All 
Yeah. Now he down. I'm a hit. I'm a hit. I'm a, I'm a hit. I'm a hit. Arvax with big little a big lady go burr, and then poof and then poof the fuck out. So uh, trying to double check. It is thirty feet, I believe. I think Perry meant her. <laughs> She's, hey, she's the one that's got to fight. Well, I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Here's the deal. You're no longer technically restrained. I would hope not. <laughs> look, I'll do, look, I'll do I'll do this for you. Advantage on strength here. saving throws now. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna go back down here, and I'll catch you on the, I'll catch you on the next time. So he's not doing anything to anyone who helps me. Yay! I need help. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, if if he if he winks at me, I'm dead. So I would just yeah, like yeah. to remind you of that. Uh, <laughs> let's, so that let's, let's not piss him off. That size off. is at great personal risk to myself. Love you. Uh, let me see. Do I have? Oh, I do have a regular healing potion. Okay, I do have a healing potion. This uh. So I need to roll. Uh, plus four. Cool. I'm at twelve now. At least I'm at double dips. That's me. See, at the end of your turn, he will use his legendary action. No, don't do that. To eat a dick? Yeah. That'd he, be super he, if yeah, That'd just, be super if he did that. He just pulls an orcish uh, cake out of his pouch that is a Yule log shape and just bonus action just eats it while staring directly at you, Mularn. No. Let's see. 16 is going to miss. 18 is going to miss. 22. I have plus two to my AC now, so no. Okay. 17. So as he starts to stomp you, you do not take damage, but I need four strength saves. Okay. Then these are all the advantage, I believe. Uh, yes, I have advantage on all of them. When you have already had advantage on them from raging? Uh, no. Okay. You don't have that in my Fear of the Gods. I did not include that. Forgot that. It's you been a minute. All right, so four strength saves, peas. Okay, so uh, the first, the first one, uh, you take no damage, but you are driven about a foot into the ground. The second one, that is three uh, points of crushing damage, halved to one. As you're driven another foot in, second or third one, yeah, again, you don't take damage from that when you're just driven another foot down. And the last one is another three crushing damage as you are driven four feet into the ground as big as you are by the stomps of this avatar of Grimush. Oh, right.
Okay. <clears throat> Use half your movement to stand up. Ah, uh, yep. Can I use the other half to not be in a hole that's me shaped? Uh, well, I mean, you're at your, you're twice your normal height, so standing up, you're still, like, around a little bit above eye level on this dude, I would think. Okay. You're, there's just a, there is just a U-shaped hole. Okay. But at least he didn't Yamcha you into a hole. Nope. Not yet. Okay. Make sure it's okay. Let's see, a 14 misses and a 12 misses as you are staring into his eye as you swing. I did what? That what? was Peregrine. Oh, that, that was, was for the uh, oh, trigger. Oh, okay. I am sorry. I, I rolled a 20. And she rolled a 20, yeah. Yeah. It counts as a 14 as he stares at you. Oh. What? So mine being a reckless attack won't change anything either? Well, he's not looking at you, so yes, that 23 would hit. Okay. Cool. She's, uh... Is she allowed to move there to hit him? Uh, I'm gonna say it's okay. Okay, cool. And if she provokes an attack of opportunity on this dude, that's fine too. They don't seem to react at first, because this seems to be a bit of a cool. surprise. So I get disadvantage if he's looking at me. Fuck. A 24 hits, though. Okay. Plus a D4. Mm. <laughs> Whole nother four. Um, and I'm gonna smite. Smite. At second level. Uh, 3d8. So that's 12 plus, so that's 20, 31, 35. Okay. And I got more attacks. A nineteen will hit. And technically, shouldn't it be flat rolls now that we're flanking? It's a effect from him. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm gonna smite again. So, 27. Math. Okay, that's a... Uh, how do you strike him with this last strike, Arvax? Um... When I came up with the... First one that I missed, I would have gone up. Second one's probably to the side, and then last one's probably overhead towards his uh, shoulder neck area. Okay, you watch as the blade hits into his shoulder. You feel the collarbone split, and you watch as the sword digs down to where his heart would be. Oh, shit. There is no change in expression. Perry, roll me a D100. Oh. 
A61. Let me consult. Okay, roll me. Hold on. One, two, three. Damn it. Roll me a D6. As that last blow hits, Perry, it is... Motherfucker! Perry, there is a sword buried into your shoulder. As Arvax Embiggened has now slashed you. Oh. Okay. How much damage? Um... The fuck! 10, 15, Slashy Magical, 5 Radiant, 8 Radiant... So, 10 Magical Slashing and uh, 17 Radiant Damage. So, 5 and 8? If you have Magical Damage, yes. Yes, I do have Magical Damage as well. Cool. Everything but Psychic. Cool. So, I uh, shouldn't have told you that. I, I knew that because of the... <laughs> uh, I knew it was all the Magic Types. I just keep forgetting if magical bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing get included in that for you. Uh, gotcha. So, because it's way of the totem of the bear. So, there is a sword dug about two inches into your shoulder. Emily just yelled in the other room. And that is the end of Arvax's turn. Perry. All right, well, first of all, hopefully as a free action, Perry's going to take the sword out of her shoulder. I thought you were just going to turn around and let it slide out. <laughs> no, I think just to so that it doesn't mess up her smashing arm, she's going to go ahead and push it out so she can turn safely. Mm-hmm. Um, she's going to turn around and just start swinging. And, uh, let me make sure I'm doing this properly. Oh, wait, no. As bonus action, she's going to use the Hammer of the Third Stone, which grants the extra, uh, D8. Cool. Activating your new special abilities. Yes. And she's reckless attacking all of these. It seems... As he is staring directly at you, Perry, as reckless as your attacks are, they're not finding purchase. You son of a bitch. So you, well, it, you swings? Yeah, guess that's it. Uh, last legendary action. Uh, give me a wisdom save. You're fine. Yay. This motherfucker staring at you is starting to get just a little old, Perry. Like, that that eye is like, you're like, oh man. That eye is slightly wall-eyed, too. Like, you're like, like now that you've seen it, you can't unseen it, and you're hyper-focusing on that one thing. So, as mean of a glare as he's trying to give you, you're just like, man, that's just kind of wandering over here. Where, where, what adventure are you going on, little guy? She's just going to kind of stare back at him, basically. Right. Squared up at him. Tarl. On our backs. Another plus two to her. Oh. AC. 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 Wait. Thank you. Alrighty. Back to the top of the round with, uh, old boy. On Perry. 23. Damn it, Perry. 
that hits, correct? Perry? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, that does hit. Sorry, my mic was messed up. Okay, so that's halved to nine. The bleed damage is still three. Second. Okay. Second attack. 23. Yep. So 17 have to 8. Another 5 bleed damage. Okay. That is a 12, so give me a strength save, which I don't think we're really worried about with he this. He has a... He has advantage on me. Oh. Because I recklessly attacked. Uh, what, what? Yep, that means... Oh, no, 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 that's wrong, because that was two d20s. Oh. Uh, 16, so that doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, but, but strength. Yeah, strength. Nope. You are knocked back five feet, but not prone. Steps forward... On to you again, Perry. 25. Yep. That is 17 halved to 8. One bleed damage. So you got, you took 9 bleed damage, so it'll be 4 at the start of your next turn. Gotcha. Malak. The uh, let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. I want to do forty-five right there. Uh, are they holding Greg? They've put him down. All right, get on, Greg. <laughs> And I'll I'll hold my action to dash once Greg gets on my broom. Okay. And that's it. All right, the skellies. Okay, so coming at Perry. That was a terrible sound. That is a 20 Perry. Yep. All right, I'm just going to roll all of these because the attack damage is the same for everything. Okay, Eight, 18 ahead. misses. 28. Uh. It's reckless. Oh. They all have advantage. So, 20, 28. 16 misses. 17 and 11 miss. I got one more. 23. So, that's three hitting? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. So all together, that is 31 half to 15. As swords, axes, a mace, and a couple of javelins come flying. You know the javelins just miss. But the, <laughs> other, the other three are just like wailing on like your thighs in midsection. Mularn. <laughs> what is this now? 
Dustin's the Raven Queen. Bye bye. Oh, Harry Big Big. So Arvax back to normal size. Negative. Transmutation I, stone. I can can I can concentrate on two spells. That is true. There you go. This one gets pushed back. Anything else? Malarn, Blessing of the Raven Queen back. Boof. Uh, yeah, uh, that's it. But I, I, I literally can do nothing else. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay, it is Arvax's turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, bonus action, Hunter's Mark. I should have done this earlier. So, Hunter's Mark on him. That next would be six. Yeah. Okay, so you have marked him. Being on this side count as flanking? No, you'd have to be on the opposite side from, like, you'd have to move over here. Like, right there? Yep. Okay. Alright, scooch my big butt over there. I'm gonna say open, go around the tree. 19 will hit. Considering he's not looking your way and you're flanking, so that is a nat 20. Alright, so I'll, like, my extra damage is doubled, too. Mm-hmm. So all, 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 all dice rolls are doubled. Maximum smiteness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four. Six. And I'm going to do a third level smite! That's... Two, three, at four, D eight. And that was all three of my attacks. Let's total up that damage. Uh. So, 16, 18, 22, 30, 47, 49, 50, 52, 54, 66. Is that correct? Uh, I know I know can count, but... Moose, Moose went away. He's usually the one who double checks the damage. Yeah, it should be that much. How do you stab him this time? In the, In the what? <laughs> I'm pretty easy to do what he did before. I don't want to blind parry. Is this 
this how Perry Let's gets do it. Is this how Perry gets a cool I can see invisible people eye moment? <laughs> I don't want to hurt Perry. I didn't hey, think I did, to do it great. again. I have not played that game, but the internet has ruined so much for me that it still doesn't change the fact that eventually one day uh, I will play it. Perry! Just do it! Yeah! And I'm sl I slash it as good I. From behind, you just... I mean, I'm big. I could probably do a reach around attack, I don't know. So you're like trying to like thrust down into his eye from behind, like. I cool. mean, are are we talking like cool anime Assassin's Creed stuff right now? I think it'd be more like a side stab, like to go across the eye. I don't know. I forgot he was looking at me. He isn't looking at you, Perry. You watch as Arvax just slams her sword into the side of this orc's face, and you watch that. Slightly wall-eyed eyes, y'all were both still staring each other down, just get gooshed. And the sword continue through his head. Good. And then you <laughs> all snap back into the same positions y'all were in before Arvax staring down the orc directly in front of her. Oh. <sighs> I will approximate where I think everybody was. And Ar Ar Arvax, you see him slowly nodding as you watch the gleam in that eye. Like there's a bright light that then fades to a blue mist that goes off to the side. Hmm. Have I completed your task? No. You've just proven you can actually try to do it. You will end up relying on the others to do it, though, instead of by yourself. Is that what a tribe is supposed to do? It is. And from underneath his cloak, he produces a very ugly, gnarled spear with a three-barbed head. You will go to the river where the old inn once stood. You will throw this before your battle and dedicate all the dead to your goddess. It is a gift from her husband. I step up and take it from him. The web temptress should get none. None. So you throw this at the start of the battle. You won't get a spell. Find the one named Quoth. And he starts to walk off. And you watch as the bones from the ostrary tree are forming into undead legions that start to go and fan out through the swamp. I mean, y'all know that there are remnants of the woven branch still scattered through the damp wood. Not for long! And you are now holding the anniversary spear. Anniversary spear. The anniversary spear. So he said I need to throw up before the battle we're going to go into. Mm -hmm. Dedicate it to Luthic. Dedicate all the deaths to Luthic. Okay. 
So we have to go to where the old was. Everybody roll me a history check. Or just straight intelligence if you do not have history. 15. Twenty. History. Hey, I got history. Mulak, or is Mulak still gone? Moose. I'm assuming he's gone. He I'm might assuming. be outside with the pub. Okay. Uh, so, Tarl, just thinking the closest in to here was the Waystone that you were at over a year ago where your adventure began. That is the only inn this close to the damp wood. Waystone's the inn I remember. We have to go have a battle at the Waystone? To find... Whoa. What the fuck? Whoa. I know a raven named Close once. ba bum bum <laughs> He... They're already gone. He, he's th this dude has properly fucked off into the swamp. By the way, Mularn. And everybody. Yes. That's a, uh, anybody that took damage, your HP is full. Folks that uh, took a potion, your tummy is a little bit sloshy at the moment. Um, what about using up. resources like rages and such? Or spell slots. Uh, those, those are back. It is as if something never happened. Okay. So it's like the ending of Twilight when it was all in their head. Why you got to bring up a bad book series? Uh, because it's the same thing. <laughs> I have never read that, but I guess yes. <laughs> it's okay if you took inspiration from it. It's fine. Is that real? That's a thing. No, I, it's not. I, it is in the movie. I I have not seen the movies, and I have not read the books. I haven't either. I've just heard stories about it. All I know is that Fifty Shades of Grey started out as a fan fiction for that series, and I I don't know how to feel about that. Um, yeah, you do. It, it, yeah, it, you, it, you know is, exactly, you know exactly how to feel about that. It is disappointment, but also got to respect you know, that it. Turned into something somehow, I guess. He, no, he feels don't. his he feels his pants get a little tighter. Anyway, not true, because it's not a good depiction of BDSM, and it's not respectful. I've been informed by people in the community, and Mad Dog while yelling. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. He said, "Quoth," and he. Tarl mentioned the Waystone. The only person you know was a Jasper coat that was there. Well, you might have to ask uh, Jasper about it. And that is where we will end tonight's session. I stabbed an avatar by God in the eye. Or did you? In my head, I did. You always go. You always, when you're fighting a one-eyed opponent, you always go for the. You always go for the good eye. Ooh, Jesus! So it's good to be back, y'all, and I'm glad. Is baby okay? Oh, she's. She keeps quit rolling over there. Still putting her face in the net. I take that as a yes. <laughs> or as close as she can get it. I'm nervous. This is why we have very the, the very like strong yet not 
restrictive mesh netting on the side of the bassinet him. Because I think all babies are like, I'm just going to stick my face here. Because they, they, they don't have logic. They don't. They have a worse survival instinct and self-preservation method than me. That's pretty bad. Because they are babies. Anyway, so, uh, let's see. Schedule. I don't think we have anything else going on this week because there are no live games at TBA North until vaccinations have been had and mommy and baby are both uh, comfortable with that. So that will probably not be until October that anything on Thursdays will return. We don't have a grave to find out if Redwell is next week because I know it's not this one. And we currently don't have anything set up for this weekend, but I think sometime this week LeBlanc and I are going to try to stream Phasmophobia. And I have been informed that when I start it, I'll have to update it, and I've lost all my shit. Yes, everyone has. This is boo sheet. Oh, well, I lose, they, I lose my stuff half but, the time anyway. But they have, I think, if it, if I'm, the cursory looking into it that I have done uh, is any indication, all of the coming, uh, um, uh, all but like two of the coming soon labels are out of the workshop. Which means all of that equipment is now available. Dope. Cool. So we might try to do that this week. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, no podcast this week. No, there will be no brouhaha this month. Because again, until mommy and baby are comfortable being here uh, or with folks being here, uh, that is going to be held off on. Uh, we got Extra Life coming up and I have a shed full of stuff to build for Extra Life. So, uh backdrops will be in Wednesday y'all I thought other people would be excited about that Ooh, hell yeah. awesome. <laughs> the, 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 I'm the, sorry I'm very tired the patronizing woo uh, I will turn it over to my wife for texting. socials alrighty uh, we are glad anyone joined us tonight and if or if you are watching this later which is, would be on our YouTube channel, where we are also team bonus action. You can watch all of our previous games and what podcasts and whatnot. And what is Baby doing? Okay, cool. Uh, we are on Facebook as team bonus action. We are on uh, formerly known as Twitter as at bonus underscore team. That, that and Facebook are the best ways to find out when we are going live. We are looking into Blue Sky currently, and we also have our Instagram and a thread that we have not really used yet, but we also have teambonusaction.com, our website. Cool, cool. Uh, Knox, since you're actually here. Mm, we appreciate y'all hanging out with us this evening. Until next time, folks. And don't let your meatloaf. loaf.